Hey guys, just want to start this video with another Patreon shout out to some long-standing patrons, Rich Barker, Nathan Everson, and Nick Saxby. Appreciate the constant support from all of you guys. Really means the world to me. Hope you enjoy the continued content we put out on this channel and uh, hope the rest of you guys enjoy this review. Hey guys, Eddie here, Cornell Bag Reviews, back again with another new fire bag, the fire heat. But uh, before we get started, boards, Queen City Yard Games. You guys know I love these boards. They're tanks. It's insanely high quality. If you're looking for professional quality boards, they also have bags, carrying cases, and everything, check out the link below. Great guys, love the boards. So, Cornhole Glove, love the Cornhole Glove. Gladiator Cornhole Glove, I have sweaty hands. These things are revolutionary for me. They've really changed the game for me, helped me on consistency, totally worth it. So check out the link below, Eddie 10, 10% off. Check them out, they're cheap and they're great. Fire Heat, this is my favorite of the new fire bags. Um, we're looking at basically a Viper with no dots. Um, material slightly different on the slow side, but they play like a Viper with no dots. Um, you know, so we're looking at a seven nine seven nine speed. Uh, it's the same exact materials as my Amnesia, same exact materials as the Ana Crazy Eight Annihilator Light, or the same materials as the Annihilator, but the Annihilator Light is this template. So we get into template size, a little bit of a smaller bag. So not crazy wide, not incinerator wide. Incinerators are like another half inch bigger than this. So a little bit tighter in the hand, you know, they still flop up nice. But if you're if you're a person that likes a little bit of a smaller bag, think like Viking width wise, not puffy wise. These are nice and thin because of the disc fill, but just like width wise, you know, they're not huge in the hand. They fit the hand really nice. The hand feels just wonderful. It makes a great handle. That flat bead, you guys know that I love. And these speeds, just make them nutty, nutty hole friendly. I mean, they're they're fast. Vipers are meant to be hole friendly, but you're looking at fire bag making a fast hole friendly bag, similar to the incinerator. So this is the same slow material as the incinerator slow side. Our fast side on this is the Viper Pro Sniper fast side, not the game changer fast side that incinerator has, and smaller template and new fill. Same fill as the Vengeance and the Torch, and I uh, haven't tried out the new Embers yet, but I think they have a new fill there, but that small disc fill, they got the disc fill. It's really plays really, really, really good. But design, you know, classic fire design, fire swirl. These are the green ones. Um, same ones as I have on my incinerators. But uh, I know Triple Crown's coming out with some heat collabs. They do customs and whatnot. But um, I, overall, uh, the, the killer for me here, or not killer, the, the best part about this bag, one, ACL Pro Stamp, two, they were like $60 plus shipping. And Fire was doing sales for like 40 bucks plus shipping. I mean, you can get basically a smaller templated Viper for $50 after shipping when they go on sale. $50, $50? And even when they aren't on sale, $70? Like, the only people that are still doing that are Reynolds and Fire, right? And they're making a crazy high quality bag. You know, and Fire got a bad rep last year with the first couple bags they released. They're releasing for lack of a better word, straight fire this year. I mean, the incinerators are sweet. The heats are sweet. This is not my new favorite. And and uh, Vengeance are sweet. Like all the new bags are sweet, but these just play so, so wonderfully. Break-in method. Uh, I did a wrinkle guard on these. Um, soften them up a little bit. They loosen up, but they loosen up pretty quick if you just did a hot water soak and tumble and throw if you're afraid of wrinkle guard. Uh, but they get decently floppy without getting too floppy because of that template size, but they just play insanely, insanely good. They're probably gonna be a little quick right now, but that'll make them really hole friendly. Um, I just really like throwing these bags. Everyone has shown these bags. They're like, wait, that's a fire bag? I'm like, yeah, they're that good, man. Uh, they just feel really, really nice. So start off here. And all I got to do is get it close to the hole because these things are hole friendly. They're also, because it's slightly smaller, it has a, it had pros. I'll go fast side here. Nice and easy. Oh, uh, it's left. Yep. It's got pros and cons with the size, right? So pros of the smaller template. In my, these are my personal opinions. I think they air mill easier because they're a little smaller. I think that they uh, fall in easier if you get it near the hole because beads don't have to travel as far to start tumbling. And they feel nicer in hand. They make a better hand feel. I have a little bit of smaller hands. Oh, that is awful. Um, so they feel better in hand. But the con I have, the smaller template, is a little bit harder to, and I'm overcompensating, to push and collect because, um, you know, less of the bag to grab. And it's not quite the grab the hole and fall in that maybe a Viper incinerator game changer is gonna do because that huge template, a huge square template that they're using, 
just touches a little bit of the hole, it's able to kind of grab. This is a rounded bag. So you have a little less forgiveness if you're, say like right there, an incinerator might have grabbed and gone in. Maybe not, but just a little bit harder sometimes to sneak it in a hole. Okay, now it's begging for an air mill. Ooh, hit the air mill drag, there we go. But again, I mean, for me, is like that air mill didn't even touch the board. That's what I'm saying with that smaller template. Like it just went, it's just, it, it's for my, in my opinion, it's just easier to sneak into small places, easier to air mail. And I mean, if you have a tiny hole, like these don't hang up, right? Cause they're just so small and they're not, don't get me wrong. They're not like so small. It's just when you're comparing to some bigger, bigger bags, they are not, you know, a huge bag. Go for another air mail. Oh, my airmail was feeling good. I had confidence there. Wanted that. But feel really, really nice. I was pleasantly surprised when I opened up this fire bag because uh, it's just, I feel like, again, last year, and Jamie Graham said this when we were talking to him, like they just kind of got a bad rep with the starter and with the, the control. The assaults were pretty good, but the starter and the control were all right. Um, but now this year, they are just coming up with banger after banger after banger for bags. Oh no, oh, I missed the four piece. Joke. But I'm at home for Christmas time. I have this really nice shot that I'm able to record in. Pump out a lot of these videos, make sure that I'm bringing you guys content throughout the winter time. Oh, that's left. And I got lucky. Again, just so easy to throw. Like fast bags is just like, oh, okay, just keep throwing it in. Airmail? No, right. Damn it. We'll go one more down back. I like throwing these. But again, I mean, I'd say my biggest gripe with the bag is not the bag, it's it's the design, you know? And I know, I was talking to Jason, he said that uh, they've been focusing a lot on pumping out you know, new bags, focusing on material, focusing on price point, making sure they're getting it in players' hands. And uh, they do have a lot more design ideas incoming. That just wasn't priority number one for them. Their priority was getting uh, start getting sales going, getting these out in the world. And uh, I can understand why. I mean, really, I think they're going to change their name this year in general. And obviously, Matt Guy and Jamie Graham are already killing it with incinerators this year beyond belief. But I think this bag will fit more the player that doesn't like that gigantic template, you know, like me, you know, I love the incinerators, but I like these more just because I, I'm not a big, as big of a fan of those gigantic bags, but come down here one last time. There we go. Nice and easy. I can just throw it right up the middle and then just sneak it. Ooh, nice slippery one. Air mill to finish. Oh, come on. One more inch again. That's all right. Again, just easy to throw, hole friendly, cheap, the fire heat. Uh, for $70, you can't beat this thing, man. And when they go on sale for $40 plus shipping, buy some. There are incinerators in these. You know, I think these will fit the mass market more. They're softer. They, the incinerators have a little more of a crunchy fill. These just are good in every asset of the way, and the price point just makes them unrealistically good like for how cheap they are. So. Check out the Fire Heats, Fire Cornhole, link will be in the description below. But appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Always appreciate you stopping by and all the support. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.